Yo, okay, so this is my, um, so today we're doing, um, a karambit knife tutorial in Blender. It's very easy, but this is, like, my fi fourth time trying to make the video because the quality is very bad. I'm sorry if the quality will be bad in this video, but I'm not going to be doing it again. Um, so, first of all, what we're going to do for this tutorial today is we're going to press 70 onto this of you and we're going to delete the, um, we're gonna delete the cube. So anyways, we're going to, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto Google and you're gonna search up a karambit knife vector like this. So it's just gonna be a simple image that is gonna be easy to trace. So now we're gonna add a plane and we're gonna move it over the knife and we're just gonna scale it out a good bit so it's bigger than the knife. Now we're gonna put it on wireframe mode and we're gonna select the um, plane and then we're gonna press tab to go into edit mode. So. We're going to press K and we're going to, um, sorry, yeah, we're going to press K and we're going to start knifing the outline of the blade and it's that simple. It's all it is is tracing. So we're just going to start tracing this slowly. And just take your, take your time with this. You want it to be as accurate as it possibly can be because otherwise your knife is going to look wonky and the shapes won't fit so the this knife um blade could be too big for the handle or something it's just going to look very bad and it won't work for you so just be as neat as you can and yeah so just outline the blade and we're almost there you might not be using the same vector as me, but like the image, but that does not matter. Just choose the one that you want, like that looks as close as it, as like what exactly what you want. Just choose that image, and just trace. So, uh, trace it. It doesn't matter. So, anyways, at the top here, we're going to go into face select, and we're gonna select here and the other face so as you can see whenever i select one of these faces it clicks off the other so to fix that we're gonna press shift so we're gonna sorry we're gonna select one face and then we're gonna press shift and then select this one so that stops the other face from selecting so then we're gonna right click and press delete faces so now we have our blade outlined anyways we're gonna press seven back to go um back into that mode we're gonna press tab to go into uh sorry tab to go into object mode mesh plane add another one make it bigger than the handle then we're going to press tab and then we're going to use knife tool again to cut this out so that won't be too hard just be as neat as you can and outline every single bit as you can see that there is like a hole at the top of the handle and i'm going to show you how to get that hole you may not want it but i like it there so i'm going to show you in the video how to get that if you guys um also if you guys have any tutorial suggestions please let me know in the comments i'd be more than happy to take a look at some because i do care about your opinions and what content you want to see on here so yeah this image is very low quality but it doesn't matter just all we need is a rough outline and then we're grand This, um, the modeling part is going to be the longest part, but once you have the whole outline of your karambit blade, I beg you to not think that you are done because there are so many things that need to be done to fix, to like make it actually look better, like the thumbnail, because the blade is like not going to be sharp at all or anything if you don't look at what I'm doing, so we're going to just outline this part here we're almost done with the handle part and we have that done okay so we're going to press enter to get our knife to the mod then we are going to press k again so we can outline this circle so we're going to outline this circle it won't take long at all doesn't matter how neat you are it's gonna it's not gonna be a make a difference but it just needs to look like a circle so press enter we're gonna delete that circle face and then we're gonna delete these faces around the handle so now we have our handle outline as well 
So we're gonna press seven to go back there. Tab to go into object mode. Eight. Also, if you want to add a mesh, you can do A shift mesh plane. Easy as that. So now that we have that there, go back into edit mode by pressing tab. Press K and we are going to start outlining the ring of the knife. Which is very easy. This is probably going to be the easiest part of this tutorial. The texturing might be a little bit hard if you are new to Blender and you are a beginner. But not to worry, you'll, you'll eventually get it. The modeling part's the easiest. In my opinion. So we're almost done here. Okay, so as you can see, we're done. So we're just going to outline the whole part now, now that we have that part. Because we want a hole in the carambit ring. Otherwise, it wouldn't really be a ring, would it? So we're almost done here. And then we can get into the texturing part of the video. Hopefully the quality of this video is better than the others. If it isn't, I'm very sorry. I'll make sure it does not happen again. I won't be uploading low quality videos again if this is low quality, but hopefully it isn't. So we're just going to delete these spaces around it. Then we're going to press empty for the image and then we're going to press X to delete that. So now as you can see, we have our outline of our karambit. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into object mode and we're going to start off by selecting our blade and make sure you are in face select so you want to select the face and then you want to extrude it up i'd say about no control g to undo that we're going to put it up there so now we're going to go out with that now we're going to select the blade so now we're going to go back into edit mode select both these faces and extrude about double the width of the blade so now we're going to select the ring and we're going to select both the faces um, and then extrude it a tiny bit more than the handle like about double I'd say so now we're just going to get the movement right of this as you can see it looks very messy but I'm going to show you uh, we're all, I'll just do that first we're going to select all of it and we're going to go up here after doing right click and shade it smooth and then we're going to go here and do auto smooth so now that looks way cleaner so anyways now what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to move this about halfway up the handle and then we're going to do the same here we're going to move this halfway down the handle so now we have most our rough outline and then we're going to select the blade and we're going to go into corner select so what we're going to do now from here is we're going to sorry i'm that does not look neat i obviously did something wrong there but we're just going to move it out a little bit so anyways now if you wonder how i moved without using this you just press g on your keyboard so anyways now we're going to go into edge select we're going to select these corner two and we're going to press S for scale and then Z for the Z axis. So then once we've done that, we're going to do the same here and on the other side as well. We're going to select and then a scale on the Z axis. So S Z. Then we're just going to do this until the blade starts to get smaller and s s like, sorry, bigger and bigger going up the blade. So let's say about there's grand. And then we're going to make these. Um, a tiny bit. Hold on, sorry. A tiny bit smaller. Let's see. And I think that should be good enough for this. So, anyways, now we're going to start getting into texturing, and we are going to press up here, um, this button. So we're going to be able to see the color of the blade. So now, what we're going to do is, we're going to select one of the. We're going to start off by selecting this. And we're going to go down here so we can add a new material. Now we're going to go into image texture. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're gonna find an image. So I found one earlier. We're going to go into UV editing. And then we're going to find one. Um, and we, I just need to find it. Give me one second. And it should, it should be this one. I cannot tell. No, maybe okay no it's not that one that's going to be for the handle part so now we're going to do this and this is what's going to be the texture of our handle but we're only going to do two colors so now we're going to go into 
wireframe mode so we can select both sides of the handle as you can see and now first of all we're gonna add the image that we've just added here so we're gonna select all of the blade and as you can see it appears here we're gonna press R to rotate it for what we're doing and we're gonna add it about here so it's a mixture of of um, cyan and green that's just my color preference you can move it wherever you want and we're gonna do the same for the ring so we're going to do the same image texture we're going to add this here and then we're going to go into edit mode select it all and then put it in about the same place of where we just did the blade so anyways now for the handle part we're going to select the handle now and we already added the handle um, image by mistake so we're just going to go into image texture and then we already have it right here so now as you can see the dots are a little big on this and we don't want that so we're going to go here um, edit mode select all and then we're gonna scale it up a hold on uh, no everything is not I need to redo that sorry so I thought there was a problem there so we're just gonna go back here we're gonna select everything and make it bigger and I believe we made the same mistake for the ring so we're going to go back to the ring hold on okay we're gonna change the image back here for this and we're going to go back into edit mode and select everything. As you can see, we made a mistake here. So if I just can move all this up in the same place about. Um, and just make it all a cyan green color. That should be good. So let's see what that looks like now. I'm going to go here. And I'd say that that is looking good enough. So that is the final result of your karamba. If you enjoyed this video, please show some love and please suggest what you want me to model in future videos. Bye for now. Thank you for watching.